The psalmist said, And my enemies shall all retreat, their child of God. He said, Then my enemies will turn back from pursuing me. He said, On the day I have cried to God for help, God showed up and rescued me. God showed up and helped me and made sure every one of them retreated and made sure every one of them turned back from pursuing me. Dear child of God, those who have been pursuing you, those who have been chasing you to destroy you, soon they would retreat because of the things they would experience, because of the things that God will do against them in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, on that day, by the time he cried to God, God heard and chased them off. Dear child of God, who are those pursuing you? Who are those saying that you will not know rest in your life? Who are those saying you will be in pain all the days of your life? Who are those saying you are going to suffer? This day, God will do something against them that fear and dread will come upon them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It says, then my enemies will retreat on the day I cry for help. It says, by this I will know that God is on my side. Dear child of God, God was on his side and he made sure all those who had confronted him, all those withstanding him, all those fighting against him, they retreated. Every one of them pulled back and those that didn't, they were destroyed. Dear child of God, those accusers, those people bringing some allegations against you, very soon they will drop it. Every single one of those allegations shall be dropped because God will be against them. God will be fighting against them until they will let you be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, they said you will not know peace in your life. They told you you are going to suffer. They told you you will live in pains all the days of your life. God will visit them and they will not be able to fight you anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. By the mighty hand of God, he will make them as still as stone. Those who will refuse, yes, who will keep pursuing you to destroy you, God will make sure they become incapacitated. God will make sure they will not be able to raise a fist against you anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. He said he's going to give you a voice. He's going to give you wisdom. He's going to give you something that they will not be able to resist. Dear child of God, believe in God today for he will do something in your life that you will not be able to withstand. All of them will run away from you knowing that God is behind you, knowing that God is beside you, knowing that God is in front of you and fighting for you against them. You see the word of God says, dread, yes, and fear shall fall upon them by the greatness of the power of God, by the greatness of the arm of God. He says every single one of them, they became afraid. Yes, their child of God, they will become afraid. This day, they will become afraid of you, saying that God is backing you up. You see, Jacob was going to be destroyed and God appeared to Laban and said to Laban, touch him not. You dare not touch him because he is man anointed. He warned him and so Laban could not do anything. Laban was pursuing him. Laban was pursuing him to destroy him. But God appeared to him and warned him and told him, if you ever make that attempt, it will be for your life. And dear child of God, that was it. That was how Jacob was rescued. Today, those who have sent threats to you, God would appear to them and warn them. Dear child of God, God would appear to them and warn them. And this is how they would retreat from pursuing you. Laban took his armies. Yes, they were pursuing Jacob to destroy him until God appeared and brought fear and dread upon him. Dear child of God, this day, the people who said you will not know peace in your life, the people who said you are going to suffer, the people who said you are going to live in pain, today, they would retreat because God will show himself to them and give them the warning of their lives. Dear child of God, he said, touch not. He told them, do not. Do not touch my anointed. Do not do my prophet no harm. He warned them. He told them, don't stop them because they are my own. Dear child of God, you are for God and God will send a message to them. Do not touch. Do not touch because the moment you touch, you are touching me and then I would respond. And this is how they would retreat. Those pursuing you, dear child of God, you will discover that they have suddenly stopped. Those sending you threats, you will discover that they have suddenly stopped. Those who have made your life miserable, those who have made your life pained, 
those who brought sadness to you, dear child of God, you will discover that they have suddenly stopped. Those who have been frustrating your life, those who have brought pains your way, dear child of God, you will discover that they have suddenly stopped. It says, then my enemies will retreat on that day. I cry to God for help. Cry to God today and say, Father, you see all that they are doing. You see everything. You see their threat. You see all the evils that they had intended. You see everything that they said they were going to do against me. Lord, I hand them over to you. Please do what you please. I hand them over to you. I hand the situation over to you. And dear child of God, I want to assure you, fear and dread will come upon them. They would retreat because the Lord would have sent a warning to them. Because the Lord would have raised his fist against each and every one of them. The word of God in Exodus 15, 16 says, Fear and dread shall fall upon them. By the greatness of thine arm, they shall be as still as a stone. Till the people, yes, till your people pass over, O Lord, till the people pass over, which thou hast purchased. Dear child of God, I want you to know, you would enjoy your life. You would walk freely because all those tormenting you, all those breaking threads your way, there will be no more. They would have been gone away from you. Dear child of God, they would all have been brought down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You see, they began to advise themselves. They said, let's leave because God is fighting against us because God is fighting for them. Dear child of God, all those people who said you'll be in pain, all those people who said you will sorrow, all those people who said you will suffer, from today, they would begin to advise themselves, saying to themselves, please let's let them be. God is behind them. God is fighting for them. God is their God and we cannot succeed. Dear child of God, they would discover that despite everything that they tried, they will not be able to succeed. And those who would be stubborn, dear child of God, those who would refuse to stop, it will be them going for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, Amen refused to stop. Amen went ahead to plant a gallow for Mordecai. What happened? God turned the table. God turned everything. And the same place he had intended that God's own would be destroyed, that was where he met his destruction. Dear child of God, if they refuse to retreat, if they refuse to stop, if they refuse to back off from you today, God is going to stand for you and fight against them. He had told them, he had given them chance to repent, he had given them chance to change their ways. But if they refuse, if they refuse, that wrath, yes, that terrible side of God that they had said they were going to experience, they would all experience it in the mighty name of Jesus. And this is how you would enjoy your peace of mind. This is how God would bring you to the place of rest. This is how your God will bring you to the place of your settlement in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, trust in the name of the Lord always. He says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and are safe. Dear child of God, run into God and I want to guarantee you are safe. I want to guarantee you of your safety continually in the mighty name of Jesus. You say the Lord was our help. You say the Lord had delivered us. You say the Lord helped us and delivered us from the sword of our enemies. Dear child of God, the Lord will deliver you and he would make sure those who have been haunting you, those who have been fighting against you, they shall be dealt with in the mighty name of Jesus. But if they repent today, if they cease from pursuing you, the Lord will show them mercy. The Lord will have compassion and it will cause them to also be saved. But if they refuse their child of God, what they are looking for, they would get in the mighty name of Jesus. If they refuse to stop pursuing you, if they refuse to stop attacking you today, I want to assure you, like he did for God's people, and said to them, the enemies you see today, you will see them no more. So it will be for you in the name of Jesus. Those who have been contending against your life, you will see them no more. Because they refuse to stop, you will see them no more. In the mighty name of Jesus. And this is how you will know that God brought you to your place of rest. This is how you will know that God brought you to your place of security. This is how you will know that God has uplifted you 
in the name of Jesus. I call it done because it is settled and you shall testify of the goodness of God, the land of the living, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.